Hey YouTube, what's happening people? <laughs> I haven't posted anything in a couple of days and the reason for that is my phone broke and um, I now have a new phone however to be really and truly honest with you I didn't want a new phone I had that phone for four years not that I had gotten attached to it but I really try to save money where I can save money and even though my wife was pushing me to get this phone I really didn't want to get the phone it's, it's a pretty nice phone but I really did not want to get a phone anyway um moving on I uploaded two videos yesterday to YouTube and YouTube did not YouTube either pulled the videos or they you know just didn't upload it because it didn't meet their criteria of what the content should be on YouTube Anyway, um, moving on from that, what I want to talk about is my second relationship where I was abused. And um, this was not too long ago. This was like, say, if I remember correctly, it was 2016 to 2017 or 2017. Yeah, 2016, to 20, I think it was 2015. 2015, yeah. It was actually 2015. And I was involved with a girl named A. That's as I said before, I try to not call people's names on my page because it's not that I'm afraid of them, but it's to protect their identity. Even though you guys don't know who they are, regardless, I'm not going to get up and call people's names like that. You know what I mean? So I'm just not that type of person to like, you know, you know what I mean? To spit on somebody's name or shit on their name or anything like that. Anyway, A and I were involved in a relationship and um, we got engaged. You know, everything seemed swell. However, one night, it was her birthday basically. On her birthday, myself, a, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend, and some a couple of other friends, like a couple of other couples, because it was a couple's things now, went out to a bar. Now, the thing I want you all to know about me is that I don't drink. I really don't like to drink. You understand? I'm not that type of person. I've... I've you know, I prided myself on not being the type of person that likes to drink. I have one or two C-grams or whatever it's called. Those are the wine coolers. I don't care what people say if it's a woman's drink. But basically, that's, that's what I'm going to be having. Because I'm just not an alcoholic. And I, don't re I really don't like to drink alcohol. I think the taste of alcohol is horrible. And I don't like it. I don't care. I let girlfriends know all the time I'm not that type of person and I will never change to be that type of person. I like to keep my body a certain way, I like to keep my mentality a certain way, and I like to keep my actions a certain type of way as well. So that whenever people get involved with me, male or female, like when people are getting to know me, when people are becoming my friends, they need to know the type of person that I am. I don't want it to be any big secret that I don't drink. Many people have tried to get me to drink and I just say, yo, I don't drink. When people get into a group and say they're going to do shots all around, I say, hey, listen, I got to go home. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about this type of life. In any case, as we're saying now, back into the relationship now. We were at the bar and, you know, we had a good time and whatever it is. And A and I went back home to our apartment. You know, so we went back home to the apartment and stuff and I was kind of tired. I was really, really tired. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And, um... <clears throat> a, she wanted to be romantic on the outside, but A was clearly drunk. A was clearly not in her right mind. She was drunk. And it wasn't because of the neighborhood, because the neighborhood was pretty safe. But I was tired and I just wanted to sleep. 
You understand? In any case, A was upset that I didn't want to spend some time outside with her under the stars. That's understandable. Okay, you can be upset about that. Right? But respect the, my wishes that I'm going to go to sleep. I fell, I, I, I fell asleep and I don't think I was asleep long. Right? When I felt three hits in my head. Bop, bop, bop. Quickly. Quick successions. You understand? In any case, I got up. And I was like, I was kind of like stunned. And I looked at her and I was like, what's up? What's up? So she was like, she started to curse and all those things. I was like, yo, listen, you are clearly drunk. Stop it. In any case, things happen. She started to punch me in the face. Right? And I'm not making this up, people. She started to punch me in the face. I, I, I tried to guard against her. You know, as I said before in many videos. Just because... Someone is not as strong as you Does not mean that they cannot hurt you People can hurt you if they ball their fist up And punch you in the face I don't care what anybody says Alright But no woman should be lifting up their hand To hit a man In any case She kind of like Basically let's just call it that she beat me up And I took it I was like alright you done? She was done. She was tired. My face was swollen. Right? I was punching eyes. And let me tell you something, people. I saved these things. Because I took a picture and I sent it to my boss. And told my boss that, listen, I can't come in to work. And I told my boss what had happened. No. Here's what I did. Because I had been in a abusive relationship before That I had um, told you guys about Some past videos If you haven't seen it Look it up on my page Find the video Watch the videos Alright Here's what I did the next day To my, my then fiancé I said One The engagement is off Two I am leaving Three Leave me alone Now She started to cry So I said to her You abuse me You punch me in the face You swell up my eye And you're the one who is affected Are you kidding me? Right? Right? So she starts to cry and beg me to stay. She begs me to stay. Right? And and just like so many foolish people, I gave her a chance. By the way, before I even decided to give her a chance, right? Here's what happened. This girl took all my travel documents. Right? To make sure Because when I told her I was leaving her She went into my personal belongings And this is what I'm talking about She went and took up my passport My passport don't belong to her And I'm telling you people It's not as easy as you think When it comes to an abusive spouse Right? She took up my passport And she put it in her car Drove to her mother's house And hid my passport there Just because She didn't want me to leave When she came back She told me what she did And she said you are never leaving me Never ever ever And then she gave me another option The only way you're going to have to leave me Is that you're going to have to kill me And I said to her I'm not doing that and I said, if I have to leave my passport with you, then I'm going to do that. And I'll be a nomad. A nomad. Uh, I'll be a, a, you know, um, what do they call them? <coughs> a gray man. A gray man is a person where he has no identity. 
And I said, I'll become a gray man then. I'll become someone without an identity then. That's fine. I don't care. So, you know, she goes into crying again and begging me to stay. The whole day, I couldn't go to work because my eye was swollen. And I can I kid you not, I still have the pictures. You understand? And um, I was out of work for like a couple of days because my head was hurting. I was experiencing headaches. And as I said before, people, her being a woman, and she was, let me tell you something, she was shorter than I, than I was and she weighed far less than I, than I weighed. And I, at that time, I weighed 150 pounds. So she was clocking in at about 130. You understand? 130, 140. You understand? And she was brutally hitting on my face. And if you ever saw the pictures of what it looked like when I got abused, you understand? You would understand that women, just because they are women, does not mean that they cannot do you harm. They may not be able to do as much harm as you would be able to do to them, but trust and believe. If a woman punches you in the face, it's going to hurt. If she balls up her face and knocks you correctly, it's going to hurt. Anyway, so I decided I was going to stay in a relationship and I told her that the only way I was staying is if she promised me that she would get counseling. Immediately on the spot, she said to me that she is going to get counseling and she's really hoping that I would stay. She cried for three days. I think that's just like something... I think what, what, that's manipulation for me where she was just trying to make me feel bad for her and stay with her and whatever it is and make it look like she was genuine about her abuse or whatever it is about being sorry about hitting me. In any case, the story continues and I hope you guys look for um, part two tonight because it gets really crazy after this. But as I said before, you know, men get men get abused as much as women get abused and it's not talked about in society and I think it's a very pretty disgusting thing that we don't address these problems that men face again um, I just want to say that I did upload the Gail King and Oprah Winfrey video yesterday and it was taken down I put my thoughts in it and stuff and you know YouTube YouTube didn't publish the video so you know, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I have to basically call the video something else. Like when black women attack or, you know, something like that. For YouTube to not attack the video. In any case, um, stay blessed people. I'm heading into work. And um, I hope you all are okay. Enough love and respect. Peace. I am out.